for Hawaii. You're watching Take Two. All right, get ready to celebrate with the UH men's volleyball team today because the city of Honolulu and governor will be honoring our back-to-back -back national champions. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the Stan Sheriff Center with all of your party details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Ross. It's an exciting time, and here joining us on Take Two, we have the head coach himself, Charlie Wade. Good morning, Charlie. Hey, Dallas. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks for having us here. We really appreciate your time, and of course, we see the trophies and some of the yeah. team in the background right there. Yeah, this is pretty it's exciting. Awesome. How does, it really it feel, how does it feel to get this honor from the city and also from Governor well, Ige? Well, you know, we're so humbled by the amount of support that we get throughout the year and anything that we can do to celebrate our victories with the, with the community, we're all for. And, and, and being recognized by the leaders in our community for our success, it's, it's really humbling and we're really appreciative. Now, we got to let this sink in. Back to back national champions. That is amazing. What is the secret? How do you all... How do you all work together to make this happen? Well, it's these guys, you know, they're, they're high quality young men and they've really bought into the message that we've had for several years now. So, you know, we've been fortunate to have been uh, pretty successful over the last several years, like I said, and, and these guys do all the work. You know, I just kind of show up and navigate them a little bit, but they're putting in the work and it really is, you know, 12 months of the year, 365 days, they're really working hard and, um, you know, the results speak for themselves. It's a lot of hard work, but I've got to ask you, how long have you played volleyball for and what made you want to become a coach? Uh, I played, I went to high school in a small town in Indiana, so I never really played volleyball until I was in college in Southern California. Yeah. And uh, a guy that I played Little League for back in Indiana, Larry Long, was a real inspiration to me and somebody that I just looked at and uh, thought, you know what, that guy was a great influence in my life and if I could do the same for other young people and have a positive influence, it, that'd be a pretty fun career path. Isn't that amazing? It just takes one person, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's really, that's very touching. But as far as the strategies and the skills you teach your team, what does the team teach you? Uh, patience, <laughs> uh, certainly. Yeah. No, and I'm just so, uh, you know, motivated by them on a daily basis. These are high-achieving, goal-oriented, highly motivated young men who are successful in everything in their life. Uh -huh. They're great sons. They're, you know, great brothers. They're obviously great volleyball players, but they're also good students and just good role models in our community. So a couple stops today. One is happening at Washington Place with Governor Ige, right? Yep. And then other at the Honolulu Halle with Mayor Rick Langiardi. But then there's going to be a special opportunity for the fans. That's happening on South King Street and Bishop. Tell us how that interaction is going to be like and just meeting with the fans face to face. Yeah, especially... well, it'll be a little different from the last time yeah. we did. We had to stay on the trolley. So uh -huh. hopefully uh, we'll be get out and mingle and people can come down and take pictures and, you know, just kind of interact and help us enjoy a celebration of two time uh, national champions. And get a look of the trolleys, everyone. It's going to be covered in green. Of course, you'll see the UH men's volleyball team on here, but please just look out for them so you can show your support and, of course, wear those colors. But as far as what the future looks like, Coach, when will you all start training for the third national title? Well, that doesn't stop. Like, <laughs> yeah. that, you know, I'm sure there's guys have been in the weight room, been working out. Literally, uh, we came back on Sunday and they were back in the weight room on Monday. And wow. uh, recruiting never stops, and we don't stop doing what we're doing. And we return everyone that was a significant contributor from last year. So we hope to be back and at least, you know, put ourselves in position to have the same kind of success. All right. Well, it sounds like a great setup for the next year. Thank you so Thank much, you, Coach, Dallas. for your Thanks time. For coming out. Congratulations. And as you can see, the Aloha Spirit is here at the UH Manoa campus. And if you want more coverage, of what we'll be following as far as the festivities go. Make sure to be on our website at kh12.com. We'll be live streaming the event. And of course, any recap or developments that do happen out today will keep you posted in tonight's newscast. Reporting out here at the scene, Dallas Anaveros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you very much, Dallas. And as you can see, the fellas, they got smiles from ear to ear. Big congratulations to Charlie Wade and the fellas. All right, coming up next on Take Two, get ready to get hungry on this Taco Tuesday.